Hey guys, even here, Romania Pro is on and this is your top 6 most likely, your first, your top call out, first you have Max Charles, next is James Hollingshead from UK, then is Regan Grimes who looks amazing actually, this is Boyan Ivanov from Russia I believe, next up is Andrew McMillan of course and the last guy on the left is Juan Morel. By the way guys, the video that I made yesterday about the classic physique wasn't exactly Romania Pro, actually it was a muscle show in San Diego, so I made a mistake, sorry about that. But the classic physique category in Romania Pro is actually happening and Vasily Vissers is in the middle of the lineup looking amazing and I'm gonna show you that in a moment, but as for now let's focus on these guys and as you can see Juan Morel is looking very good. Not flat, not watery as he sometimes can be, Regan Grimes is a pleasant surprise. I have to admit that I didn't really expect him to look this good, especially compared to these guys. And uh, as from what I can see right now, I would say he's gonna be in the top 3 or probably top 2. I would give him higher placing than Juan Morel. Yeah, Juan is definitely fuller and harder in the upper body, but uh, the shape of his back is not superior to Regan's. Regan's back is much better shaped and his legs are just much bigger. The only thing that Juan Morel has on Regan is that gnarly conditioning the veins and you know the illustrations uh, everywhere basically because that's just the muscle maturity I would say he's older and uh, as far as the winner yeah it's gonna be Cedric um, it's not even questionable Cedric is just another level compared to these guys I mean they're just not challenging him at all when he's in shape and right now he is we saw the video yesterday so I think that the whole argument that he is actually not in shape because of the anxiety uh, goes to water basically because he showed us uh, two times now his shape before the show and when the show happened he looks amazing so he is in shape obviously and I think it's pretty safe to say that he's the winner of the Romania Pro although he already qualified for the Mr. Olympia but he's doing his job he's winning shows he's winning money here you can see James Hollingshead who I had no idea is competing actually, I've been following him on his social media but this guy is always in shape pretty much, he probably needs like two weeks to get ready for a show. Regan Grimes once again, pleasant surprise, really, I mean we knew that he's gonna be in shape, that he looks amazing and everything, but to be this good compared to the big guys, compared to Cedric, and actually beating guys like James Hollingshead, Max Charles uh, and uh, probably even Juan Morel, I mean we'll see about that but most likely, yeah, I mean, he's looking amazing, he's not as sharp, not as uh, matured, he doesn't have that mature muscle density like Juan, but he has a more complete physique, he has quads, he has better shaped back, so I would say Regan is gonna be top 2, actually, so Juan Morel is gonna be 3rd, Regan 2nd, Cedric 1st, uh, then as far as the 3rd place, probably Max Charles, then James Hollingshead, and in the end, Boyan Ivanov. Right here you can see exactly what I was telling you about, about the back shape, you can see Regan's back compared to Juan's and it looks much better, much better shape and you can see the glutes as well and the size of the legs, it's just on Regan's side and right here he's in the middle of the lineup, you know they can switch these things around and the finals didn't happen yet but it seems like Regan's gonna be top 2. I don't see Max Charles beating uh, Regan or Juan Morel for that matter. I think that third place is probably gonna be between Juan Morel and Max Charles, as you can see based on the lineup, based on the callout. So I would rather go with Juan, but uh, it's possible that Max might take it. He's probably in better condition actually, and he's more complete, but he doesn't have that shape like Juan has. So it's gonna be close between these two guys. As far as the fifth place, I would go with uh, James Hollingshead and the last place in this lineup, the sixth place in the show, uh, Boyan Ivanov. So guys, you be the judge, you tell me what you think, but again, this is just some horrible quality photos, this is what we get, and I don't wanna hear you telling you can't judge a show based on the photos and the videos, because this is what your poor ass gets. You can't afford going to watch the show, then this is what you get, I'm sorry, but that's it, this is what you get. I mean, unfortunately, we don't have the 4K cameras covering all the pro shows. This is a disaster. This is a horrible thing for bodybuilding. I have no idea why that didn't happen yet. It just doesn't make sense. I'm sure one day we will laugh about this, but unfortunately, no 4K coverage of every single pro show. 
I don't know. I mean, I have these crazy dreams and uh, if my dreams come true, if my channel grows, if I have bigger influence on bodybuilding industry one day when I'm 30 years old or something, I will try to get this in somehow. I'll try to make some influence. But as for now, I can just criticize it. I can talk about it sometimes. So maybe this will help. Probably not, though, but maybe someday, I, unless we speak about it, it's not going to resolve itself. So let's be vocal about this. 4K cameras for all pro shows, for God's sake. So once again, guys, this is what you get. This this poor quality photo. It is what it is. But I think still you can see what's happening here. I mean, you can see the call out. You can see who the judges are preferring. And uh, obviously that's Hedrick McMillan who's going to win it. As far as the second spot is probably going to be between um, Regan Grimes, Juan Morel and Max Charles. Obviously, but most likely Regan Grimes. I will go with him based on the shape, and you can see the conditioning, still, I mean, when it is very, very close, you cannot tell, you need to be there to, to, to see it, but in this case, it's not very close, I mean, Sadrick is by far the most complete bodybuilder here, he doesn't have any weaknesses pretty much, and he's in shape, so he takes it home easily, and as far as the rest of the placings, we can argue about that, so guys, please comment down below, tell me what you think, as soon as the finals are over tonight, I will make another video about it, hopefully, I will find some better quality footage and photos, so guys, stay tuned, subscribe to my channel. Right here, you can see Regan Grimes and his posing routine, and you can see his shape that he brought at this show, this is probably his best ever, he's big, he's full, he's conditioned, most importantly. The lighting on this show isn't really good, I mean, you can see everybody looks kind of soft for, for that reason, but I'm sure it looks much better in the person. You can see that Rigger is conditioned, but the lighting isn't doing him any favors, so that's another issue that we need to fix, <laughs> we need better lighting. I mean, one local show that I watched a month ago or something here next to my small town in Serbia uh, was actually having much better lighting than, than this, or probably the Mr. Olympia. So it's not really like a money problem to, to afford good lighting, it's just these guys don't know what they want. They need to figure it out, really. I mean, sure, I get it, it's cool to have different lighting every year, but make it good lighting. Um, here you can see Cedric, who is in shape, most certainly. He's not holding any water, basically. I mean, maybe a little. He's not uh, super sharp. He could be drier, of course. He could be much drier, for, for sure. If he wants to win the Mr. Olympia, he can't show up like this. He needs to be, you know, dehydrated out of his life. But uh, still, very good shape. Definitely good enough to win the Romania Pro. And yeah, you can definitely see his hamstrings and glutes and lower back. He's in shape, for sure. But if the lighting was a little bit better, he would look much more dominant. Unfortunately, the lighting sucks, so we need to work on that as well. So guys, keep complaining about this. I mean, unless we're complaining and talking about this stuff, it's never gonna change. 4K camera coverage and better lighting, that's what we need. For starters, many other things as well, but we can't fix them all at once. Here you can see Wesley Vissers, who looks amazing, and this is the actual classic Physique Romania Pro, not the one that I uh, talked about yesterday. That was a different show, unfortunately, I made a mistake. But uh, here you can see Vesla, I mean, this is the conditioning that we wanted to see. This right here is what I have been criticizing Wesley for, the conditioning. Sure, his legs could be bigger and uh, he could improve a couple of body parts, but that's gonna take years. What he can fix in one single prep is conditioning, and he worked on that and he is definitely better now. And he's gonna win this show, he's gonna qualify for the Mr. Olympia, and if that doesn't happen, I'm gonna be pissed, I'm gonna be super pissed, because he definitely deserves the victory. And if the judges don't give them this victory, it's gonna be so confusing, dude. I mean, they just told us that the classic physique should be about lines. Steve Weinberger, the head judge, told us. I mean, I don't know if I should use Chris Bumstead as an example, because he won the Mr. Olympic classic physique and he was less muscular than Brion Ainsley. But he won the majority of the poses. He actually won the side chest, the absent eyes, and your favorite classic pose. But he was less muscular. If you compare Wesley to these guys here, they may be bigger from the back. They have a little bit better and bigger, not only glutes, but overall legs. That's where uh, Wesley is definitely lacking, in that department for sure. And they may be even thicker in the back. But in the front double bicep right here, you can see the classical lines that only Wesley has. I am not saying that the other two guys are not aesthetic. 
the guy on the right not so much really but the guy on the left is pretty aesthetic so he might end up pulling the victory here but he does not have the lines the classic alliance so if classic alliance have any influence when it comes to judging the classic easy category vesta Vister is gonna win and he's definitely improved far far better than the last time we saw him especially through the back you can see the conditioning in the back, his back is absolutely dry and I love this look, I really love this look and I think he deserves the victory hopefully he will win, what do you guys think? Tell me down below in the comment section so this show that happened yesterday that wasn't Romania Pro, it was San Marino Muscle Show um, is actually won by Danny Yunan and uh, I had a rush winning honestly, he seemed better but it was close it was definitely close, I mean you can, you can see right here Arash seemed sharper to me and uh, he looked more polished, he had a little bit better classic physique probably, his arms, I prefer Arash's arms, his uh, quads aren't as big as Danny's, but hey, this is just small, minor, tiny details, you can just definitely say that it is very close, but this is the thing that you can actually be sure about when you see it in person, it is much different judging the photos and judging from the first row, where the judges are actually sitting, so it's definitely a huge difference, but sometimes you get what you get, you need to make your judgement, I mean myself, because this is what I do, and uh, I cannot wait for 4k quality photos, because that's probably not gonna happen, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, but this show, I'm pretty sure this show had to be seen, uh, with your own eyes, to make sure who was the winner, so apparently it was Danny Yunan, um, I like his physique very much and we'll see him at the Mr. Olympia so guys as soon as the results of the Romania Pro are up and if I get some better quality footage and photos I will update you so stay tuned guys and uh, if you enjoyed the video like it subscribe to my channel of course and uh, thank you very much for watching all the best bye bye